Oh, the dirt. What's going on, guys? It's already 11. Two guys are out doing a top dressing job. Then they're going to do a cleanup. I got to go run and do an uh, uh, estimate. One of my guys said that if we leave this here, it will turn into this. Clean rock. With rain, supposedly. So. We're going to try. Tone of power up with that, but looks like it's a trail. And then this needs to be moved. All this stuff needs to be loaded up. Look at that. Take it to the dump. But we're gonna bring some block. We're going this estimate. All right, so we're at this other church we do. They're at the wrong place. doing it so see if the lady's here so I can let her know what's going on but yeah they came to the wrong place so that's that the crazy thing about it is I rebuilt this wall like six five six years ago when I didn't know what I was doing still standing but I didn't backfill it or anything or it just collapsed and I restacked it kind of cool but let's see what's going on all right so I got my straight measuring stick out measure this wall I actually left it in my truck when I was alone rock the other day and it got smashed 26 Six by four and a half foot. We need to go back. It's like here. Excavate this all out, put proper drainage as you guys can see. It's leaning and she wants to go with block instead of retaining wall. So, not too shabby of a job. And she has a good budget for it. So, I know she's kind of more serious. That's another question I was going to have ask you guys is if when you're on a landscape bid, do you guys ask what their budgets are or can you just send out estimates free willy? Always ask the budget because then you kind of know who's serious and who's actually thought about it. Obviously, they can just tell you a number, but if they're way off, I know that they haven't even thought about it. But she's pretty close. She's actually kind of a little over. We're gonna give her an estimate on that wall and then we're out of here. So I'm over at this commercial site, giving an estimate. I look in the drain. I don't know what that is, but it's messed up. All right, we're back at the warehouse, had to pick up. There's a package on the step. I'm gonna load up the trailer with the mower and the bagger and meet the guys at a leaf cleanup. They're just picking up sticks. Joe and Josh. Makita. Huh? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so this is what is your detaching rig? Uh, Why, you'd rather rake with your hands than that rake? <laughs> there it is. Spring cleanup's done. Leaves and sticks are all picked up. And we're out of here. We're going to go load the trailer up so I can dump it in the morning. 
I think call her good. I just took off, which is fine, but this is the kind of stuff that can't happen. Just leaving gates open. Next thing you know, they come home, dog gets out, and then I get a call, so. This is what I always do. I just bring this electric blower, do a little property walk, and make sure everything's good. So we weren't supposed to do a leaf cleanup up here. We ended up kind of doing one because we blew a lot of leaves out here, but that's why this isn't too spotless, but it's still better than what we came, when we came. Back to the house. So I grew up on a farm, right? And I was... All right, so that is pretty much all clean. Got a good load to take to the dump. And we're heading out for the night. See you guys on the next one.